Just host and ring announcer for Saturday night's huge celebration and exciting fight card. The legendary promoter and Hall of Famer, Mr. Don King, is proud to bring you the 92nd Only in America celebration in honor of his 92nd birthday as this Saturday, November 4th, from Casino Miami High Line in beautiful Miami, Florida. We not only celebrate Mr. King and all of his greatness and contributions to the sport, we celebrate the beautiful sport of boxing. This is one huge collective event as world famous Mr. Don King is synonymous with boxing and we are stoked to have you all part of it. The venue door is open Saturday night at 6 p.m. with the event starting at 7 p.m. Tickets are available for the event celebration and can be purchased online at playcasinomiami.com or you can purchase your tickets at the venue. All the action can be seen on pay-per-view through donking.com, i2247.com, and also on Fight TV. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. With the best of the business on the panel, the broadcast panel, we'll have Mark Abrams, a boxing veteran of 22 years. He's called over 600 fights worldwide, owner of 15roundsboxing.com and Atlantic City Boxing Hall of Famer. And also, Christy Martin, women's boxing trailblazer and legend. She donned the cover of Sports Illustrated, a former world champion, and also an international Hall of Famer in the boxing world. Carl King, manager of more than many world champions. Uh, he's also managed many world champions than anyone else in the world. Albert Hainsworth, college All-American at the University of Tennessee, a first round draft pick and two-time NFL All-Pro. And also on the panel Saturday night, Bob Alexander, Florida Boxing Staple, Vice President of the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame, and he has also been inducted into the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame. As mentioned, Mr. King is ready to celebrate his 92nd birthday with two months of exciting world-class professional boxing, and next month, the return of Boxing Zone Problem Adrian the Problem Broner back in the ring December 2nd as he faces Chris Howard for what's going to be an absolutely entertaining fight that you don't want to miss. Mr. King has lined up several exciting attractions this weekend with the fight card. These fights are also so good, they're all considered main events. Mr. King will elaborate more on these fights, but to give you a general idea of the three title fights, we will feature as follows. Headlining our final main event, a world title contest, a 12-round clash for the vacant WBC Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Ranked number one of the WBC, currently holds the WBC Silver uh, Cruiserweight title from Yerevan, Armenia with German heritage. A big round of applause to Noel Mikhailian. We'll face the WBC second-ranked in-ring veteran, former three-time defending WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World for the People's Democratic Republic of Congo's own Ilunga Jr. Makabu. This fight is going to be one you definitely don't want to miss. The title is up for grabs as one of the fighters is ready to get back on top and the other ready to be reigned world champion. And our second main event, 10 rounds scheduled for the WBA NABA Gold Heavyweight Strap as Dulac, Louisiana's own Jonathan the King Gidry will defend his title against WBC Fed Car Box Champion from Puerto Rico, undefeated Jesus Tito Escalera. The Battle of the Bigs is going to be a huge shakeup in the ring here in South Florida. And also in our first title broadcast, Two juggernauts of boxing will clash it out for a 10 round scrap for the vacant WBA Continental North American heavyweight title. And I have to mention this both fighters have the same exact record 23 rounds, 22 victories, 15 wins by way of knockout, and only one blemish. Cassius Cheney versus Trevor the Dream Bryant, Saturday night. For the most part, the Bigs will cast a shadow under the lights 
But that won't keep our exciting undercard fighters ready to put on a show. Featuring undefeated Devon Williams, Isaiah Raquelme, Alexander Castro, and also Isaiah Hart. It's going to be mayhem in the ring Saturday night, and it's only in America. That being said, I would like to acknowledge a couple of familiar faces that are here with us. You know, when there's a Don King card, the stars will come out. That being said, Mr. King, Mr. Carl King, the son of great Don King, is here with us. Managed over 50 world champions, a multi-time manager of the year recipient at the Boxing Hall of Fame. So a big round of applause to Mr. Carl King. Christy Martin, a.k.a. the coal miner's daughter, a legend, a multi-time defending WBC champion, a survivor, and a boxing Hall of Famer. Let's give Christy a huge round of applause. Lisa Holai, former outstanding triathlete, multi-time world champion, boxing Hall of Famer, and is the wife of the lovely Miss Christy Martin with us as well. Nate Campbell. Former unified lightweight champion of the world, also a Hall of Famer, and you'll also be on the broadcast joining Christy. So let's give Nate a huge round of applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, all this couldn't have happened without one man synonymous with the word boxing. It is my pleasure to introduce, and it is also an honor, truly the greatest promoter and the history of the sport, where he coined the phrase, only in America. He has shaped and promoted many of the greatest fights of the history of boxing, like the Thrilla in Manila, the Rumble in the Jungle, which marked the 49th anniversary just two days ago. He worked, and, he worked with and promoted literally many of the greatest legends to enter the ring, making them famous, world champions, and successful which eventually became financially well off. These names included Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Iron Mike Tyson, Julio Cesar Chavez, Felix Tito Trinidad, Evander Holyfield, and the list goes on. Please welcome once again the greatest boxing promoter of all time. A standing round of applause when I announce his name, celebrating his 92nd birthday, International Boxing Hall of Famer, Mr. Don King! <laughs> well, let me say, since we are very, very thankful that you are here, and I'm very thankful to be here because we're taking boxing back to the people where it rightfully belongs in the fans' hearts and when they say, what is the next one? I'm very thrilled and, uh, to be able to present to you a two-fun extravaganza celebration of the 1992. Uh, the fight coming up here Saturday night, the 4th of November, and the fight forthcoming on December the 2nd. Uh, Saturday night. So, and they both will be held thanks to the heartfelt generosity of Phil Ruffin. He's the owner, and he and Dan, Daniel, they, uh, they are working together to make that possible for me to have two consecutive months of boxing at the great highlight here in, in Miami. It is a thrill because Everybody is trying to work against us, but everyone that works against us enables us to open up new doors and opportunities for yesterday nobody to become tomorrow somebody. So what we're going to deal with is we're going to get the platform for them to perform. Their performance would have to be of the ilk of a Christian Martin, because that was the old time of boxing when people were going for fights and going for titles and doing the heartfelt joy of being in the sports, they, they performed to justify their own existence. And so performance will be on the part of the fighter. The platform will be on the part of Don King and his great, great promotional team. 
However, boxing seems to have lost its way. It got caught in the wilderness of greed, avarice, corruption. Everything that was supposed to be was left behind for honesty, integrity, uh, opening, what you say, translucent, or translucent, whatever it is, where transparent, that's the one we're looking for. We're transparent to get it to go the way it's supposed to go. So we had to bring all these forces together, even to the traffic and the thing that it was a block of came in, so I want to apologize for being late, but also I want to be thankful for being great. And so it's got to be something, <laughs> it's got to be something that we got to deal with here, with these cadre of fighters here, and I'm very, very thrilled. And, uh, and, uh, and I want everybody to come out, and even some of my friends are saying that we want it to be a sellout. I said, you know how to do that? <laughs> it ain't hard. <laughs> it ain't hard, you know what I mean? So I'm looking for a sellout crowd. If they, got, if, they, if, they, if they talk to talk, you got to walk to walk. You know what I mean? You can't play hide and seek with me. You know what I mean? Because I ain't no refrigerator. I can't hold nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still thrilled, so I'm looking forward to a sellout crowd. And, and the people of the fans who would be the disciples to say, this was a great show, this was a great show, so-and-so performed the best, he's my champion. And whichever it is, the people will select uh, the champion by the champions for performance. We got to open the doors, the windows, in the sky, in the oceans, everywhere that any message can be given, it has to be given. So, but when the performance come in, it's going to be either corner, the best man, win, whichever way it goes, and whatever it may be. So that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the fight, and everyone who fight must fight for themselves and for the people that they want to represent them. And so we're going to be a, a, a great thrill here, and uh, it's going to be a great show, and I thank Daniel uh, Bikari. You know, he's been just great with me, so I'll look out for him because he is looking out for me. And this is what is, uh, we're going to do now. On, on, right now we're here, the most outstanding fighter tonight, today is a guy named Junior, a guy named Macabo. You know, he's because he ain't here. <laughs> so it makes him more powerful than anyone because he stands out alone. But he's trying to get there because they're trying to make him have trouble with passports at home. You know what I mean? Everybody got envy and jealousy and they smile in your face, but all the time they want to take your place and that's the back step. <laughs> and so you got to be able to deal with the backstab. In fact, talking about the backstab, my dear friend, Eddie the Great won't be able to make it here, but we understand why. They all make maneuvers and, 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 and whispers in the ears and things to do things, but Eddie assured me that, you know, that we still love each other and we have no problem at all, and, and I understand what the reason is, and that's all that counts. The, matter, the, the rest of it don't count. So, but they could take that and take it to Boston and think that Eddie going to get this to be, I done did something to Eddie. You know what I mean? That don't work that way. That don't take, that last day don't work for us. You know what I mean? So what I want to say to you is, we want to set our crowd uh, on Saturday night. It's going to be a November and December to remember. And we're going to start it out with this great card that we got here that you know is going to be here. And it's back and just so illustriously and eloquently uh, 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 said, is that we want to tell you that the, the number one man yourself has been a uh, guy who has been really a great contribution to boxing. He's the mandatory challenger, and he's been gracious enough uh, to lend his mandatory uh, to uh, Junior Mabuto, Mac Macabu, uh, on several occasions and waiting for all of these fights to take place while he held the mandatory position. He gave them an opportunity to become champions with the fight that they had ahead of him and with the request of the great WBC, uh, Mauricio Suleiman's president, and uh, my son. You know, so he's a great, great, great guy. So what we have here now is finally uh, the, man, the number one mandatory challenger is going to have an opportunity to become the champion. And so we will watch and we will witness to him taking on uh, Macabu. Macabu had more rumors of not showing up than anybody I've ever seen. Al Capone could be. 
And so I'm calling on all my friends that has, have to be blessed with exorbitant sums of money. And they say they feel so concerned about those who are the downtrodden, the underprivileged, and denied. And they say, you know, it's just a shame that we can't get, to get people to understand what boxing really means to the downtrodden. I say, well, you can't help to keep boxing and bring it back home. You know, how can we do that? I say, find a ticket to give it to charity, give it to uh, people that would, would fill that arena, but not with conversation, with money. You know what I mean? So that they can continue to do things and work with better, better ideas and things where we can make things happen like it wouldn't happen before. So when I relate to her, she's sitting there looking at the do as she can. Uh, I want to read relate with identification and relation to demonstrate that people what used to be can be again if you dedicate yourself to read your efforts and push hard, you know, to be a success. And in being a success, welcoming your brother, your sister, uh, with a hug and a kiss and say, hey, let's get it on. You know what I mean? And when you do that, we got something that we can back to we can relate to. So for the three uh, that's why I have no under no undercards for all these champions are concerned, they're all equal uh, championship events. Uh, so we have Jonathan Gidry. Jonathan Gidry, where are you at? Where are you? Where are you at? Oh, there's old Jonathan Jeff from D Luck. What do you say? Jonathan is from what the what's that place of Do Luck. Do Luck, Louisiana. Well, I really like Louisiana because of my man Lloyd Frank, you know me. He, he, he was saying about all the struggles down there in Louisiana. He used to tell me all kinds of stories, and he brought music and entertainment into his, 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 his infancy, you know, in Louisiana, you know what I mean? So Lloyd Price, you know what I mean, he's really something, you know, so I, I was really uh, uh, very appreciative that he left his spirit with me, because he's still going strong, you know? Yes, yes. So it's really wonderful. And so, so now we got, uh, Gidry, he lost to, um, but that's the next to him, I guess, the dream. All right, so then he goes back, and they put another guy before him for the gold champion, and he literally destroys the man. They had to go back and have a brain operation and things. I'm sorry about that, and hopefully that the, uh, the truck or the stop, or whatever they call it, you know, will be able to, you know, to, to recover and be able to deal with what is real. You know what I mean? But what we're going to do is to help him whether he can or cannot. You know what I mean? He's one of our family, and we're going to treat a family member like a family member with love, kindness, and understanding. And so, therefore, Jonathan Gibby now, being the champion that he is, has chosen the great Jesus Escalera. Viva Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is here by sound because Tito. You know, Trinidad was a man for, for the crowd. You know, I mean, it was just really great to be able to be able to, to have to have been the promoter of, of Puerto Rico and Tito Trinidad and our way down Escalera. You know, he was also there. You know, with his nephew of the, the Escalera that's fighting out on Saturday night. And so that's going to be a, a great match. I want uh, Jonathan Gibby to stand up, and I want Escalera to stand up. And this is what you're going to see here. I mean, these two guys here, uh, I can talk up to next year, but they're going to get it on. You know, and so, uh, and we, he also helped me, uh, Gibby, by bringing in people that were born doors, that were say they could do anything in the world, but if, when the time comes, they don't do nothing. You know what I mean? All bullshit. You know what I mean? So I could have never done that without, without having a guy that has the, the intestinal fortitude to call it like it is and then to face the person that tells them that and tell them they said what it is. And now it all turns out to be an uh, unholy lie. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that. So that battle that uh, he's won, but the one with Escalera, you know, from Puerto Rico, you know what I mean? He said, not quite. Not till I knock him up. Then he's done. <laughs> so, boy, I'm, 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 I'm in the middle of a, 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 a frenzy here. You know what I mean? Anything can happen in this car, in this box. Because ain't no rules, ain't no bars, ain't nothing but get in there and fight. And when they, ain't no excuses. You know one say it, it's that, that other. You know, it's you. When that bell rang, it's got to be there to make it happen for you. 
So this is the this back here will be one of the championship matches here. Thank you, gentlemen. You know what I mean? We'll let y'all talk for a minute. Get everybody get started. So we know everybody have a fun. Oh, we're going to make it happen for us. It's us, it's us. You know, it's we, us, together. And united, solidarity, together. And then another title fight will be uh, a title fight that has quite a bit of controversy. And uh, call it like it is, it's few of us. That will be the age-old, redundant type of classic boxing fighting skills that is taught to be emulated and imitated by the great trainer, uh, Stacy, is Stacy McKinley. All right, now his fighter is the one with the dream. But somebody, I don't know whether it was Mickey Mouse or, you know, uh, what's that other one that was running around there, that blocked the dream, the atmosphere of the dream in his last fight. But it was really a shocking an amazing situation where Stacy, who also identifies with the old, the good, the transparent, the honest, and integrity form of boxing that gets people excited and be able to express themselves in every way known physically, physically uh, in a positive manner. So this thing happened here with Stacy and his dreamer. All right, so now that dream was a champion for quite a while, you know what I mean? So now he wanted to regather his title. He wanted to recapture it, I should say. And he wanted to be able to demonstrate to Brendan Ford like that what you saw yesterday ain't what it is. And how can I prove that? I got to prove that by going in there by fighting and winning. And not by any other way can I prove that, you know, it, the conversation and the rhetoric don't count. You know, what you do with your fist, is, the left hook to the right hand counts a measure. And so you're going to be able to see that. Would you rise champion of yesterday to bring back champion of yesterday? Mr. Dreamer, Trevor Bryant. Uh, it's been a long time, Trevor. There you go. You get an opportunity. An opportunity is a land of opportunity. And uh, so he's going to take on a new young man that came in. I was fascinated because his name was, was Cheney, but it was Cassius. Cassius that got me because my, the man who brought me into the business was Cassius Clay. You know, he was the champion of all time, great champion, you know, of yesterday. And he fought for the will of the people. And fighting for the will of the people, he dedicated himself and put his life on the line and also, he challenged the system with a five-year conviction uh, to go to jail for draft dodging. But he stayed and went through that, went through that, uh, that accusation and that violation of human rights and went on and challenged the world. Fortunately, justice was found in the Supreme Court of the United States and they vindicated and overturned uh, the conviction of Cassius Clay, then alias Muhammad Ali, who became a Muslim brother, and working with Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And so I was fascinated when I seen that Cassius. So I said, well, we got to give this guy a chance. I did not know him, never seen him, never seen him fight. But his record vindicated him. So he was from that very record before, 22, 22 and 1. 15 KO. I said, he didn't get it out, you know, by just walking and talking. He had to get that fight now. And so we got him on with the dream. So it's a double dream here, and somebody gonna have a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I want to do now is introduce Cassius. Come on out, Cassius, get up there. Cassius King. We don't want no excuses. All we want is a fight that you remember. Win, lose, and draw. We won't fight. And 
and that's what it's got to be, and that's the thing it only can be. So I'll be waiting for the, the winner, whoever he may be, to hug and chat, but the loser too. I'm not going to give up on the loser. That's why we call it family. So we're going to have an opportunity here to demonstrate these two men's talent to recapture the imagination of yesterday, the yesterday's performance. And so thank you, gentlemen. I'm going to call all y'all up and let y'all talk. Y'all can talk. You know, I ain't going to talk for you. You're going to talk for yourself and you're going to fight for yourself. I will fight for you outside the ring and do everything I can to bring out the corruption, if there's any, and to be able to fight for your honor, your integrity, and to be able to get your pay as much as I possibly can get when there ain't no money existing. And so as I did is, this is the way it spells out to be. And so now we have the three champions, three championships. And we open the door over because in this fight, if a guy comes to me on Friday night and he's got a championship and he wants to put it on the line, I'll leave it to the commission to make the decision, but I for me to take a fight. Because what we do now is take it back and back to the people. You know what I mean? Not taking it to out there where you can sell it and not sell it. No, taking it to the people so they can be the judge. And we're going to give them every opportunity and outlet that we can to make it happen. So, McAboo will be here. They all told me McAboo wasn't going to come. I never even entertained the thought. I said, man, one of this time, the fact that he wanted it, held it as long as he held it, there ain't no way in the world he's going to just, you know, not take the opportunity of a big encounter of the other man gave up a day on it and he held so dearly. So he's going to be here. So we're going to have McAboo. And we're going to have Noel. And that's going to be one hell of a fight. Because Noel is tired of being sitting on the sideline, being the dramatic number one contender. I want to be the dramatic world champion. <laughs> and then I will take on contenders. And so I wish him well. And we will have a great fight there. And so now let these guys come up and speak for themselves. Uh, and uh, Noel, you can talk and say what you want to say in your mind and in your heart. It may be a business. It may be conducive and compatible. But whatever it is, let it be you. Don't let it be nobody else. Let it be you. Noel, come on up there, baby. Talk to him. Well, first of all, uh, thanks for the attendance. Uh, Don, thanks for the words. I don't want to be offensive to anyone. But yeah, I'm very well prepared. And I've been waiting for this chance a long time. And uh, being on the sideline for a long time, finally, this fight is happening. The fight for the most prestigious uh, boxing title, the WBC uh, World Title. And yeah, ready and head for the grab. And watch me Saturday. How did, how did, how did you say, Don? Becoming uh, yesterday's nobody, yeah, tomorrow's yeah. somebody. And becoming world champion on Saturday. Tune in on Fight TV, DonKing.com. Buy the tickets, come, come watch the fight. It will be a great fight. Punch the first boxer. And yeah, very happy that this is happening. Thank you, Don, for putting up a great show and the uh, best promoter in the world, only in America. Let's go, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody got any questions for Noel? Nobody? Okay. Thank you. 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 Well, I will not give up any, any secrets, but uh, I've been watching Macabre for a long time. He has been being cha champion for like three years, and uh, I wanted to fight him for a long time. He was kind of avoiding me, but uh, he's, he's a strong southpaw, and uh, I will adapt in the ring. I'm like, you know, I, I, I can adapt to any style, and uh, I didn't focus on anything specifically. I have uh, the footwork, I'm fast, I have the power, and uh, I think my ring IQ will make the decision in this fight. Talks about being today's somebody. Do you feel like you're on the cusp of that? Uh, well, yeah, I was just relating to Don's word. I like the phrase, that's why. <laughs> Do you feel disrespected because McAdoo's not here to face you today? Uh, actually, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Most important is that he is Saturday in the ring. If not, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> Great answer. Is there no, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I will ask him for one. I ain't gonna get myself to this. But McAboo said a breaking news called to 
me, and he said, I'm going to be there. That's all. I'm going to be there. And so you know how they talk in South Africa, you know. And so we got a, a what do you call it, a, a, a immovable force, you know, against a force that's supposed to be mastered for all kinds, and all the way, to bring it more life. And that's the spirit that uh, Noel has come with. But uh, I'll be there. So until you get there, that will be the thing that's there. But we don't want nothing to happen to the plane. We don't have nothing to happen to nobody. We want to first get him on the land, get him into this great casino here, and like he said, get him in the ring. And then he can do his talking, you know. And, uh, and we can see how we're going to come out with this great, great, great uh, way championship. Okay, next we want to get the, the guy here that's, that's just beyond imagination. He, uh, he introduced me to people that uh, I never would have had the opportunity to meet. But in introducing me, he also introduced me to what lost he is at his first and foremost uh, action. And he bought the lost count that no one else could have done. But uh, then he proved that by being the truck of whoever he is uh, uh, to a belt. That was a tremendous, tremendous heavyweight fight. And now, He's taking on, oh boy, it gets it, 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 me excited. I get, I get the trembling, Jonathan. It, 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 the nervous frustration of success going back to the people where it rightfully belongs. You know? So he's taking on Jesus Escalera, who is Viva Potari. He's the my, my Puerto Rican star now, so I love it. So what we're going to do is, uh, Jonathan coming up in and represent your title. And what you want to do is say what you want, uh, Jonathan. So that's one thing about you don't pull no punches. You brought some guys in and you called up out, you know what I mean? And so we don't have, I don't hear from them no more. Jonathan Victor, y'all. Thank you for the opportunity. I did not disappoint. And uh, 
Thank you very much. Any questions? In your heart, brother, how do you see the fight going on Saturday night? It depends. He, his IQ in boxing is really, really high. Um, I think in the interview he said that his game plan is to uh, outbox me and take me out to the later rounds of ground. And that's a hell of a game. You know what I'm saying? Having gone past four rounds for a reason. Because I don't want to go there. You know what I'm saying? So if he comes forward, if in the first 30 seconds, we're going to see who has what. If he tries to outbox me, then I have to chase him. Because he's a hell of a boxer, a counter puncher, real skilled. Uh, but this is the heavyweight division. He only takes one punch. And I'll be beating two former world champions. So, but, but for me to test myself, I had to go with somebody like him. That's a champion. And he's a fighting champion. A lot of them, like I said, other people turned me down for a reason. But he didn't. So I, I honor him, I respect him. Uh, looking forward to being him, becoming friends and small partners down the road. But what he's doing is the definition of the reason why I'm boxing. Because he's a true champion and I'm a champion. And to keep the sport alive, what Don King's been doing for well over 60 years, is putting competitive fights with people that have or want the opportunity. And he gives us the showcase to show. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'm a people's champion. I want to fight for the people. When we draw, we're going to put a hell of a performance. And uh, that's what we do. What was your uh, uncle's name, and how much of an influence was he to get you involved in boxing? My uncle's name is Alfredo Escalera. He defended the WBC title for 10 times uh, under Don King from 1980, no, 1973, uh, no, 78 to 1981 when he lost to Alfredo, uh, yeah, he lost it to a lesson in the That's where he lost it to. Um, both of my cousins fought professionally. Um, Alfredo Escalera Jr., he was 19 and 4. Jason Escalera uh, also fought. And um, I'm just a line of Puerto Rican fighters in that gene that we fought. Um, we're fortunate enough to have 104 amateur fights, multiple uh, golden gloves. Uh, so to me, this is just another step to the right direction. I did not want to become a professional boxer, it just fell in my lap, to be honest with you. It was more frustration and to try to prove to the fighters that the golden era of boxing um, is still here. It's, there's so many politics. People want to fight one time, two times a year. Um, so when you're around champions, that's in the fellow parlor left and right, again. we are the definition of boxing. And um, like I said, once again, thank you for Don King for giving us all the opportunity to show that Saturday night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gonna ask, just letting him know, giving him due credit for what he has to do in the ring, and facing it with understanding and wisdom, so he would be able to retaliate in kind, or to be offensive in a new, unexpected type of individual that that's gonna uh, present. So it's a thing here that we have a, a great show here, a great that each and every one of us is qualified to be in the event of the show would be period. And uh, so we're not going to argue about who, what, where, when, and how. We're just going to let the fans be the judge of who the champion will be mental, mentally, psychologically, and physically. And so we are going to have one hell of a show on, uh, and, uh, on Saturday night. And I'm going to pray for my dear rich friends to be kind enough uh, and gracious enough to make the word stop violent. You know what I mean? So we are uh, wishing for that day. I got a great crew, you know, with John Wilson. You want to make sure every detail is done. You know, you got Ronald Carson and then each and every one that we name that will be there uh, to work with us. And, uh, beautiful Tina sitting right there, coming with the uh, unknown uh, deal that was. You know, you know that uh, the, the, the now you see it, but now you don't. So it's a thing here to have this type of a feeling 
substantiating team to carry out, you know, the mission to spend it for life. And a great show is going to take for here on the 4th of November. And we all going to be there to witness the sellout crowd um, in order to make this thing happen the way it should happen. But it's just the beginning. Because we're taking boxing back to the people where it's rightfully enough. In the hands of the people, not in the hands of the corruptors. And the ones they can, you know, appreciate and take everything and give back nothing. So it's been a great, great press conference for our South Concern. And then the mission goes to all the friends. And then they have all the fighters spoke that they all get their get their questions answered, you know. And so everybody can be happy, at least they waited, but they, they got what they needed to have. Anybody need anything else? Oh, God, that's a hell of a thing, John. I'm so happy you did that because this may be the last time they'll be able to speak. <laughs> We're really trying to fire you about it. You're going to really come and try to laugh, but that ain't going to work. If the performance would be that happen, forgive me, Father, I know not what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's get up on Trevor. Let's get the dreamer, the big dreamer. Come on up there, big dreamer. And please have mercy on me. Trevor the Green. Trevor the Green. Thanks, Duncan. Um, hello, everybody. I'm Trevor Bryan, Dream, former WBA Heavyweight Champion. I'm just happy to be back on the stage, the big stage with Don King and Fear. Um, again, this is going to be a great show. A lot of great fires up here right now. We're going to show you guys a great time Saturday night. Everybody right now is claiming the best fight, but I feel like me and uh, Cassius Cheney um, have a lot to prove to ourselves, to the boxing world, so I think we're going to definitely have the best fight of the night. Um, again, I'd like to thank um, Cassius King and Cheney and team to take this fight. And like I said, um, me being a former heavyweight champion, I have a lot to still prove. Nothing against um, Cassius Cheney, but I still feel that I'm a heavyweight champion in the world. And, uh, I just have to redeem myself, and this is a great fight right here to showcase my talent against the world to say that I need another shot. So again, like I said, I'd like to thank everybody here on the stage. Um, I'd like to thank all the other fighters that's here, Cassius Chain crew as well, Don King, Promotion, Fiat that's going to show the fight, and uh, to all the fans as well that's going to come here and watch us participate and uh, work hard. And we, we do a lot to get here, so this is what you guys see at the end of the stage. It's not what we do, we go through a lot. So. Also, I'd like to bring up my head coach, Stacey McKinley. He'll also explain a little bit what we went through while we're here today. Stacey? Uh, Stacey McKinley, now, he's come to old school, too. You understand? He's taking it back. How you doing? Yeah, um, you know Trevor Bryan, good boxer, big guy, 6'4", 6'5", 245, 46 pounds. Jane is a good boxer, I know, and both of these guys got good boxing skills, so you're not going to be looking at a slugger against a boxer or a fighter against a boxer. Both, both kids can box. They got good speed, they got good jab, good right hand, and a very smart fighter, so we're glad that Don King brought us back to try to get us back to our title, and I'm looking for a good fight. It's going to be a good heavyweight fight, um, and you all know we just saw a good heavyweight fight this past weekend with uh, Fury, so we're going to put another good heavyweight fight. Come on out and check us out. Yeah. Who's the respondent to that? A guy named Cassius Shane. Come on up here, Cassius. Lay it on him, baby. Lay it on him. 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 Um, I'm like excited and mad at the same time, you know, I uh, want to say thank God for just allowing me to be in this position and all the fighters and everybody here, um, uh, Don for allowing me to be on this card and, um, you know, uh, perform, and, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, um, DKP, the whole entire staff for, you know, helping me get with uh, Don, um, who's arguably, you know, the greatest promoter ever. You know, I'm looking forward to this. Um, Trevor's team for accepting the fight. You know, it was, um, 
I thought I was going to fight in, in July, and then, and, you know, but we just been training and just staying positive about it. And, and finally, the date is here. So, you know, my team, we've been uh, patient, just chipping away at it, not going crazy, but, you know, working hard and uh, staying consistent, you know. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm happy. Um, I'm in a good space, and I'm just, uh, just looking forward to Saturday and just uh, having fun and putting on the show. So, um, again, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Of course, Don and everybody for uh, coming to check out all these uh, fighters up here. Thank you. Celebration Boxing Extravaganza, and also 